Today in this video I'm going to be unboxing and doing a quick review of the Pandora 5S 999 game in one arcade system here. This uh, game system I got off of Amazon and this particular one is out of stock right now but there's plenty of other ones available. Now as far as I can tell the 5S is the same hardware wise to the 4S it just has more games and it seems like depending on who sells the box is dependent on depending on how many games is actually installed in it. They all seem to have various numbers, 800, 845, this particular one was 999. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and see what I got. Now I got this off Amazon and I paid about $54 for this because I used my points from one of my credit cards as well as a gift card. So the price for this was $245, but with all that stuff, I paid about $50 for it. And that doesn't, that's just a sticker telling us that we got 800 by 600 resolution when you use HDMI with this product. Otherwise, you can use a VGA. So you could plug this up to a standard monitor. LED lights up and has sound illustrate for that. The console works well. <laughs> <laughs> HDMI cannot use is not defective it is because okay that's really poorly <laughs> translated holy moly okay <clears throat> so just like the other ones I've seen on YouTube got extra buttons right here And that does include the switch actually inside of there. So that's always a good thing. Extra never hurts. Now for some reason this one is out of its bag. I don't even see the bag, so I don't know. Got an extra one right here for the black side. Again, we got the switch right there. Mechanical, that's how we get that nice feedback. USB cable, VGA cable. HDMI cable, three meters long. That's going to be uh, probably six feet, I think, is what that is. Not sure. We'll find out. And we got our power adapter right here. Looks like it can be screwed to the wall if you really want to. Feels pretty light. I won't uh, deny it. Made in China, as with everything else. Looks like a uh, a plug that a lot of Toshiba's use actually. There's plenty of 12 volt adapters out there that use that size of plug. That looks pretty standard to me, a barrel type plug. So we've got 300 milliamps on that, 3 amps. Uh, so yeah, if you want to upgrade the power supply, which might actually be a good thing, you can always do that. Here we've got our manual right here. <clears throat> Multi game family box. Pandora's box. Top class chipset and branded hardware component. Designed for low power consumption. Hundreds of classic and brand new arcade game collection. Super high definition game resolution and high quality video and... And... <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be and audio engine, but we've got a bullet right there. So, <laughs> top ranking game control experience as well as stable performance. Well, we will definitely find out about that. Now, I don't really consider 800 by 600 to be super high video resolution HD, um, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Might have to hook this up to the VGA on a monitor and just see what. Uh, what all it actually outputs beyond 800 by 600 if anything. Got some kind of voice control here. I don't know what that is. Have no idea. We'll have to find out about that a little bit later. Got the book right, the pictures right here in the manual, book, whatever, what there is of it here. All like five or six pages here. And this is for the 4S, so we'll be curious to see if this is actually the 5S like the seller claimed it to be. Or if this is really just the 4S. I guess it doesn't really matter because they're both the same thing anyway. 
Okay, we've got a couple of red joysticks sticking out right there. And there we go. <clears throat> now, I was kind of wondering about this. If this was actually going to be the same top that was shown in the photograph, and it is. They didn't have any, when I ordered this, they didn't have any of the ones with the guy in the middle of it right here. But I don't really care about that. This one, that's got, these have that LED light strip inside of them. And this one, it actually glows through it, which is why I really liked it. It's a little bit more of an arcade style, to me anyway, with that glowing light. You can actually see the light through this. So, yeah. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good in the hand right there. Let's see what two of these feels like. Yeah. Now it looks to me like they're planning on you wearing out this button before you're wearing out the start and the coin button, so I don't know how hard it would be to find more of these buttons if you had to, but it is what it is. Let's get this guy out of the box here. Yeah, all right here. On off switch, HDMI, VGA audio. I guess you could plug headphones into that. Config, I don't know what that does, and there's a volume. So this does have must have an onboard amp in there. Got a volume control and we've got our USB. Now my understanding is this USB is so you can plug this up to the computer and use this as a joystick, probably to a PS. Three, four, whatever as well. Alright, so this one's held closed by three screwdriver or screws here. So let me get a screwdriver and we'll open this thing up and see what's inside of it. Alright, I've removed the three screws right here as you can see. Now personally I would have rather had latches right here like some of them I saw had. It just unlatch and the whole thing pops open. But it is what it is. And I'm not going to be getting into this all the time anyway, so it's kind of a mute point anyway. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we've got in here. Okay. We've got all kinds of fun stuff in here. There's our LED light strip down in there. Looks like we do have a cooling fan. And we have one speaker on the side there. Looks like a pretty decent... Uh, joystick mechanism right here. Pretty impressed with that. Looks like all of our buttons are plugged in. Probably a good thing to make sure on that. I'm actually impressed. They did a really nice job of laying out the wiring in this thing. It's nicely zip tied and uh, all the connections right here are gold plated it looks like. So I'm very, very impressed. This is a, you know, you got that metal cabinet right here. <clears throat> which frankly doesn't look a whole lot different than some of those rack mount switches. Just not cut out and used for a different purpose. Got some pretty beefy hinges on the back here too. Holding that thing on there. So yeah, I'd say the build quality is definitely top notch. Now, like I said, there's different versions of these. There are the 4S's, and they're basically built... They, they, well, they are built exactly the same. Um, so you should see the same... the same uh, build quality in most of those. But yeah, so far I'm really impressed. I do see one thing that's kind of weird over here on the side. Got this... heat shrink over the... Uh, LED strip on this one end and it almost looks like it must that must not be an LED right there but it kind of almost looks like it that got covered up but probably not it's probably a well it's supposed to be an RGB light strip I think it's supposed to color change so that's probably the circuitry to change the LEDs the color of the LEDs looks like we got some unused pins right here to that motherboard right there, little computer board. Hmm. I would have thought that voltage regulator should have been screwed down to the board. Maybe that won't be a problem. 
But if it is, we could uh, rectify that. Or maybe just add a heat sink to it or something. But yeah, definitely, definitely good build quality here. I'm very impressed with it. So hopefully that fan's not too loud in this thing, because that would be kind of annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and plug this thing up to a TV and see what we've got. Alright, so I got it plugged up to the TV here. And before I go ahead and start showing some of the games, I'm going to catch this, turn this thing on the light. I want to see what that looks like. Let me turn the light off here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely gonna be rocking with this, that's for sure. That's really nice. Definitely digging that right there. Definitely, definitely digging that. That's really cool. I definitely like that. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the games on this thing. Alright, we are booted up. Now, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that is the fan. Camera is currently positioned on the opposite side, the side where the speaker is. Yeah, it's kind of loud. To got the volume loud on the console or the TV, it's not... You don't really notice it, but other than that, you definitely will hear it in a quiet room. Alright, so the first thing I notice here is each one of these games has a nice little video there. Shows exactly what we are going to be playing if we choose that. Which is kind of nice. And if you don't know what any of these games are or what they look like, well, at least you get to see if it's actually worth clicking start to play that game or not. We have 100 pages. Can I go back to 100 here without going through the whole thing? Oh, there's a double zero. Okay. Okay, that's kind of funny. Goes to zero, zero is 100. And there we got 999. So theoretically, we got do have 999 games. 88 games. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of pole jumping thing there. And the nice thing about this game console as opposed to those all-in-one joystick things is that this actually has real games on it as opposed to that those fake Chinese no-name things that <laughs> most of them don't even have a, a a title screen to them any text on the title screen so there's a lot of actual real games here this one looks kind of fun wizard fire almost kind of looks like a Di Diablo kind of a thing there yeah, we might have to play that. I'm just going to click through the list of games here so you can pause the video if you want to at each one of these to read the list of games that are on here. But each one of these is going to have Usually, the seller provides a list of the games that come installed on these things. So you can look at that list itself. As you can see there's quite a bit of stuff here. Got a duplicate right here. That actually looks like two different games though. So One might be the arcade and one might be console. Maybe? I don't know. Joystick's got a nice clicky sound to it. And the volume control in the back does control the volume of the side speaker. So 
in case anyone was wondering about that. I'm assuming the audio port on the back is the stereo, though I don't know that for sure. I haven't plugged headphones into it. My guess is it probably is stereo. Whether these games are in stereo or not, I don't know. Audio does come out of the TV through the HDMI, but right now I've just got the audio coming out of, well, it has to come out of both, but I've got it louder on the game console itself right now. So we've definitely got a lot of games here. Definitely would take a lot of time to go through all these and play them. So let's just take a look at one. We've got Altered Beast here, which is a classic game. That's great. We might play that here in a second. Aquarium, I don't know what that is. Looks kind of dumb. <clears throat> here again, we got two games doubled. Looks like the same game in this case. I don't know. Baseball Stars, I don't know what that is. Blazing Star. Alright, let's go play a little uh, Altered Beast here. Let's do that. I could kill him. It's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, damn it. Oh. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I'm all buff now. Watch out. I'm like freaking Hercules and shit right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you want some? You want some, huh? You want some, huh? <laughs> oh, guys cold in their heads are kind of weak. I don't know. I mean, I just practically look at them and they die. There. Oh, damn it. Really? Oh! Oh, get this whiz... Really? Of these guys, I hate getting stabbed in the back there. Kidney punched. All right, well, let's just exit out of that. Let's try another game here. So far, the controls feel pretty responsive. Best of best. What is that? The Berlin Wall. I don't know. I don't know. That looks like an Ishuzel kind of thing there. Yeah, we might do that one. Big Striker. Oh boy. It's a Tetris looking thing there. Blue Me Car. Let's try that. That looks kind of weird. Never heard of that. Press one P button, I guess that's the start button, okay. Bon voyage! Alright, let's just go here, okay. Alright, ooh! <laughs> Shit. Whoops. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this the third time here. Without hitting. Crap. I'm flipping. Ape over ape here, yeah. Ape over ape. Go on. Ooh, got some major air. Woo! Over ape again there, doggone it. Oh, sh oh. God, it's like freaking paintball, Paul. It's like. Okay. It's like playing pinball or something, except with a car. It's kind of weird to play this with a joystick, but I guess it works out okay. I don't know. This might have, if this was a real arcade game, might have had a steering wheel with it. Race over? Okay. We got some other things to try here. Alright. So far, I'm liking this thing. So far, we are liking it, definitely. Alright. Cookie and BB. <laughs> a lot of these games I'm going to have to try. Oh, there's Contra. There's Contra right there. That's a classic. I ain't played that in a long time, though, so I'm going to embarrass myself on YouTube. That's all right. Crossed Swords. That's kind of cool. Dark Combat. And let's try that. Let's try a fighting game real quick here. I'm not going to go through all the games, just a few, just to kind of test it out a little bit here. 1P. Let's do 1P. How to play. A, B, C, D. Yes. Okay. Hit button A slightly. Okay, we did. Okay, we've got this little chica right here shaking her stuff. Basketball. Man, he's a short little dude. Holy crap. I did not select him. I must have ran out of time. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, see what the basketball dude can do here. And what the hell? <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's see, throw a ball. Come on. All right, come on, chicken chip. Come on, chicken chip. Come on, come on, come on. These guys always run away from me, you know. Neo. ADK, Neo. Man, he's got a lot of life here. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, now, now, now this is getting serious here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that, is, what is this? What is this? Can I pick this up? Can I pick this up? No, I don't seem to. Yes, I can. Yeah, I got it. All right, motherfucker. All right. All right, now I'm getting mad here. Now, no. Oh, really? Man, this, these guys got a lot of crazy life here. Now we go from like blue to green to red to yellow to. Oh, yeah, you want that? You want. Oh, shit, man, shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's beating up a black dude. I mean, this is racial, man. This is racist. He's racist. This is racist game. This is a racist game. Racist, racist game. See? Big white dude just... Just laid the smack mo on the black guy here. I guess he's kind of black. I mean, he's of color. Doesn't seem to really matter what color. How dark. Elvis looking... Mother effer there. That's nah. Let's do this guy. He looks like he would win, right? I mean, he's bigger. He's probably slower. All right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Get, get, get. 
Come on. Come on, come on. Come here, come here, come here. That's a big truck back there. Come here, come here. Come here, chicken shit. Come on. Oh, you're gonna do that, huh? Come on, come on, come on. He's grabbing the freaking balls. Ooh, who's that chick right there? Really? Come on. I'm just, I'm just gonna drop kick your ass here, okay? Ooh, that was good. He doesn't really have very many moves here, I don't know. I mean, the guy keeps running away here. I mean, this is just like, you know, sissy lala crap here, you know? Come here, motherfucker. Let me get your fire. Ooh, there's a shovel. Can I... How... There we go. Yeah, as soon as I pick stuff up, these guys fucking launch on me. I mean, I'm pushing buttons here, and they ain't fucking doing nothing here. I mean, come on. Really? Come on. Come on. Really? We do that, yeah. How do you like that, bitch? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna start mashing shit here and just see what happens. Oh, really? I swear, games cheat. Ooh, yeah, you're kind of a retard, dude. Okay, yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't believe it either. All right. Dig Dug. Dig Dug 2. Digger Man. <clears throat> DJ Boy. Oh my god. Really? Doc Man. That looks like an old XT game. That looks kind of cool. Double Dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Dragon unit. Let's. Mm, I want to try that. I just want to do one more game here. Just want to do one more here. Ooh. She looked kind of good. I kind of like that. Okay, Gunbird. Heavy Smash. Eh. Jackie Chan. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know about that one. Jump Kids. Okay. Striker and Last Resort. There's a lot of these shooting games on here. This ship shooting, whatever they call I don't know what they call those games. <sighs> Magical Crystals. That kind of looks, might be kind of fun. I don't know. Magical Cat Adventures. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. That looks stupid. It'll be a good game to round the video off here. One player. Forced of something. Alright, I have a very strong Sonic the Hedgehog vibe here. Except you can't go down and roll, spin like Sonic. Yeah, this could be entertaining, I don't know. Oh, really? Well, maybe not.
Yeah, instead of rings, we've got gold coins. games use these other three buttons. So far all the games I've played have just used the top three buttons and not the... Alright, well... Ooh, what's this? What does that do? What do the purple things do? I don't know. I don't know. There's more purple things down here. There's a mushroom. Let's kill the mushroom. Must kill... Ooh, there's a kill the bunny. Or the mouse, or whatever the hell that was. I, I, I could. I know this is really cheesy, but it's, it's kind of just an easy game to play, you know. So I kind of like this. Don't get me wrong. I like the fighting games. I definitely like the fighting games, but you know, this is just kind of one of those sit back, kind of you don't have to really think too hard. Don't have to, you know, worry about mashing the buttons here, ruining them. <laughs> you know, you just. You just kind of, you know, do this, and it's good. It's 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 got its own uh, charm to it here. I don't know. I'm so far, it's kind of like just kind of keeps on going though. So I don't really know, and I just kind of got knocked out again here. Really? So I guess I'm going to start back at the beginning of the level here, huh? No. Look at that. Cool. <clears throat> Is that bunny again? I would say a lot of these games are, you know, while they're obviously a lot of them are arcade versions, they have a little bit better quality graphics than Genesis and Nintendo SNES. So that's what kind of makes them a little bit nicer than what you get on those consoles. You know, it's not like a drastic improvement, but it's just enough to kind of make it, the game a little bit nicer, you know. Some of them, anyway. Yeah, I pushed the button and then... Ah. Okay. Alright, guys. I think that's going to do it for the demonstration of this unit. So far I really like this. I think it was definitely worth the money. Um, these things sell, I've seen them for about 150 bucks with fewer games. Um, I definitely think they're worth picking up if you're interested in something like this. Uh, I'll probably maybe look at doing a updated video for this gaming console at some point in the future. Just, you know, to give you guys that are interested maybe a, an update on how it's holding up but so far it's uh, it's pretty impressive I think the build quality is really nice um, the buttons are responsive the game console loads up fast I mean you see how fast these games load up when I select them so there's no definitely no problem there um, one thing I did run into though is that right now I'm running this on my 24 inch 1080p television set uh, I did try plugging this console into my 32-inch uh, TV, which is like 10 years old, and the HD, it's, uh, HDMI input, it just displayed black. It never showed the game uh, video at all on the TV, so um, that's definitely one. It's a, it's a sharp 720p. I don't know if it's because it's 720p or if it's just not compatible with the 800 by 600 resolution. I run that TV on a computer. It's an HDMI. It's a uh, not HDMI. HTPC monitor, basically, um, and that one uh, works fine with Windows. But for some reason, it doesn't work with this game console. And that is a warning on this that not all TVs support the 800 by 600. And a lot of people say the 4K doesn't support some of that. Uh, that resolution either so some of the 4k TVs anyway I don't have any experience with that because I don't own a 4k TV but so that's something to keep in mind you may have to have a true monitor dedicated to it this is a TV but it also has VGA input so 
whereas my 32 inch TV does not so that might actually be a factor if it has VGA input it probably supports the 800 by 600 I would guess I don't know but so far I did run into that problem um, yeah um, I think the games run fine the quality even though it's 800 by 600 it is in widescreen I don't feel like the games are stretched really um, into some kind of, you know, they don't really look all that weird to me. Um, I like the video demonstration of the game itself. I think that's really nice to have that. Um, I don't have that on the EverDrive console for my Sega Genesis, so that is pretty cool. And yeah, I'll, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys. These things can be used for uh, as a joystick. Although I'm not going to be using it as that because I prefer to use it for you know what it's meant for as a gaming console. Uh, I'll be interested to see if I can add any games to this or not. Um, I don't know if I really want to. There's Miss Pac-Man. But uh, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I like the LED lights. It's really nice. So, All right, guys, this will conclude this video review of this 999 N1 Pandora 5S box. We'll see you again here on the Wayback Tech Channel. Peace out, everybody. Oh! Oh! That <laughs> was that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, hey! Yeah, he got away. That was easy. Oh, man, these guys are really mean to a chick. Damn. I mean, I know she's got a sword, but I mean, she's like half naked. I mean, well, probably more, more like three quarters naked, actually. You'd think that would be a distraction, but no. Oh, okay. Now we're just going to have to mash the keys here to really get somewhere. All right, let's just nuke him here. I'm tired of this. Oh, we'll just nuke him. Like a god. Oh, man. He's, oh, we'll nuke their asses again here. Come on, where's my nuke thing? Why isn't my nuke working here? I didn't use it all, did I? Come here, come here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Really? Man! Oh, he's done! Oh, he's done! Okay. Player select, okay. He looks, he looks kind of freaky, so... He looks a little psycho, so let's use him. Top. Round one. Five. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Go. Oh, uh, no, you don't. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Hit them when they're down. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> oh, bullshit. 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 Right when I was getting ready to whoop on her. A bubble lose. You think you you think you're gonna get me again, bitch? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, come on. Oh shit! Doesn't he jump? There we go. I gotta figure out which button jumps here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop running, stop running, stop running, take it, take it, take it, back you under a corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of scary looking right there. All right. Oh, that was cool. 
That was cool. I could, I could definitely lose a few hours to this game. This is pretty fun. Oh, come here. Come here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Come here. Pow! Pow! Woo! Hey, look at me! I am cool! I am badass! You! Yeah. I kicked a girl's butt! <laughs> what a hot butt I have! Oh my god!